Hey guys, welcome back, it's Shelby, and I ordered some beautiful white silk roses online to craft with, and they came in this package. For the most part, these actually look really good, much better than many flowers I have ordered online, but a few of them are still smashed. So I wanted to share a nifty kind of crafting tip or hack with you guys that I don't think I've shared before, but it's a total game changer if you are working with silk flowers that are a little smushed up from the mail. It involves a hairdryer, and basically you're just using heat on the flowers to fluff them up and get them as voluminous and beautiful as they possibly can be post mail smush. So that is what we're doing today, but I thought that since it is a neat kind of trick or hack and you guys might not know about it, that I wanted to share it with you guys in case it can help with your floral pieces at home. So two easy things that you need, one, three flowers, to a hairdryer and that's it and we're gonna get going okay so I'm going to get the roses out of the bag and we're gonna see what we're working with okay oh good they don't smell sometimes they do and it's always a huge killer so there's definitely a wire in the plastic which is good it helps me mold it but I got to remember that when I'm cutting it and all in all these look really nice you can see what I mean though it's like super lopsided and smushed. Like it's definitely a little bit flat, a little bit more oval rather than round. So I'm just gonna take a quick look-see. This one looks nice. This one's completely round, but it's not super fluffy. So I'm just gonna straighten them out and put them to the side so I know what I'm working with. This one's a little bit lopsided. It's got some flat spots. This one is just, it's seen better days. So this, if you get, from the mail or even the store and you're like, oh no, I can't, I can't craft with that. Like that's, that's just not gonna work. You move it with your hands, it only sort of works, like it stays crumpled. That's what this craft hacked fixes. So uh, yeah, this one's not bad. Not bad. Actually, this is a good vendor. Most of these look really good. See, super smashed, but that's okay. The majority of them do look really, really good. I'm quite pleased. I will probably order from this vendor again. If you guys are interested, I will link the roses I got down in the description below because they're actually really beautiful and quite lovely. Um, they are white with slightly pink edges and slightly green on the other side. So they're not a true white. They're, they're a slight, almost ivory. Um, but I think they look very realistic to white roses because of that. Not pure white, but um, really pretty, really beautiful actually. I really, I really am happy with these. I think these are lovely and I can't wait to get them fluffed up. Okay, so we are getting started. First off, settings that you need. I'm keeping mine on hot. If your hair dryer gets ridiculously hot, consider medium. This one doesn't get super hot, especially if you're moving it around a bit. And my settings go from off to low to high. I don't have a medium, so I will be using the low setting. If you have the medium, give it a try, see if you like it. For me, high is too much, so I use low and high heat on this hair dryer, but experiment with yours. One thing to note is that these are synthetic, and if you blast them with high heat in the same spot, eventually they will catch on fire. I've never actually lit a flower on fire, but I have had some mishaps uh, with a hair dryer trying to dry fabric before, and they, they will catch on fire. So just keep keep your hair dryer moving. Make sure you watch it, but um, with this you won't have any problem as long as you're not just like blasting the thing without moving it. Yeah, mistakes were made, but this is gonna work fine. So when you position your hair dryer, you're going to want to position it right at the opening of the flower so that when the air moves, it's equally pushing the petals out and creating that nice round pocket because the air is going to get caught in between each petal and kind of push it out nicely. It's not going to splay it out. Don't worry about that. The way these are glued in, it's just going to fluff it a bit. So here is the before on the rose. You can see it's super smushed up, very flat. We're going to, there's no real like set amount of time. I'd say anywhere between like five and 30 seconds, depending on the rose, but we're just going to hold it continuously move the hair dryer so that fire is not a risk and uh, set it up on low strength with high heat. So I am starting with the most smushed rows of the bunch just to show you guys what can be accomplished with this method. Here we go. I'm gonna let you look at it before I even do. Oh, it's perfect. 
perfect. It turned out perfectly. So, yep. This is definitely one of my favorite silk flower hacks just because it works so well and it's super easy, super fast. Like there's no reason not to do it. Um, if you have a particularly smushed bush, like, uh, mm, like the one I just did, but this one is pretty smushed, you can press in the opposite direction. So see how it's smushed like this, press like this with the hairdryer. That's gonna help it out and help uh, fluff it and get that bend out of the petals. Make sure to be moving your hairdryer around a bit. Because it's sped up, it doesn't look like it, but I really am moving it. There we go. Super fast, works really well. You can get the rest of these done really quickly. So I'm going through the rest of the roses in the bunch here. What makes this method work so well is that the majority of the silk roses I've come across are held together by hot glue. So when you're heating them up, you're not only releasing the wrinkles from the fabric itself, but if they're smushed into place and you're heating up that hot glue, you make it softer and more malleable. You don't want to remelt it, but by pinching it with your fingers the correct way, you can get a lovely round bulb. And then when the glue hardens, it's going to stay in that perfect shape that you want it to be in. There we go. So I have all 10 of my roses. I know it came in a pack of 10, not 12. A little weird, but all 10 of my roses are done. And you can see there's a huge difference. They're just big and round and fluffy and they take up so much more room than they did initially. They also look so much more real because there's no hard edges or anything on them, but I think they turned out lovely. And like I said, this is just a great, easy, fast crafting hack to fluff up your silk flowers when they are a little bit smushed and damaged, either from the mail or the store or just being in storage in your own house. It's just a uh, neat, easy little crafting tip that I wanted to share with you guys, and I hope you find it helpful. Thanks so much for joining me and watching this video, and I will see you here again soon. Bye for now.